All right, so in this next example, the issue that I see with this, guys, is there's something different about this one. Now, obviously, I want to look into a factor at my GCF, just like the two terms. First thing you do when you have three terms is you factor out the G anything they have in common. And I recognize that they have in common is an x squared. So therefore, it gives me a 4x squared plus a 4x plus 1. Now, the last thing I'm left with is a trinomial. Now, remember, when we did trinomials, we did six exam or five examples of all trinomials. And wasn't the factoring all the same? Right? There's a special factoring technique. We know how to factor trinomials. So the one thing we know about factoring a trinomial is that it's going to produce a product of two binomials. Now, the problem, or at least the issue with this one, is a is not 1. Right? Remember when I gave you guys 73 examples? They all had 1 as a coefficient for x squared? I don't have that. Huh? A times c. Yeah, you could do the a times c method. Yes? Yeah. But, and, and, and I do that method, and I have nothing wrong with it. I will say, though, in this class, from now on, now that I'm teaching it, it's now fair game, right? But the second thing is majority of the problems that you are going to be received in this class, yes, it is, the majority of the problems that you guys are going to have, there, there's only going to be a couple options. So for instance, let's pretend what two numbers multiply you 4x, let's do 4x and x. So you typically, guys, AC method, even though it's perfectly fine and I use it when I can't figure out a factoring problem, um, I don't think it's a good use of your time, at least for this class. What two numbers multiply give you 1? Let's just do 1 and 1. Because the reason why is the majority of the problems that you guys are going to have when a is not equal 1 are going to be rather simple. Meaning rather simple, you, if, as long as you kind of know what to look for, you can be able to figure them out with a couple guess and checks. So again, we agree that 4x times x has to give you 4x squared. 1 times 1 gives you 1. Good. Do the middle terms add to give us 4x? No, they add to give us 5x, right? So 1 times x and then 4x plus 1, that gives you 5x. We need 4x. So you would agree with me, even making these negative ones is not going to make it correct, right? Because it could be negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. So that means I need to figure out some new terms. What other numbers multiply to give me 4x? Oh, why don't I just keep the ones there? So what happens if I change this to 2x and 2x? Does now that work? And there you go. It didn't take me very long. Like, I, as long as you know what to look for and you get practice with this, which I'll give you practice, then you can start doing this quicker and quicker. So now, now this is written as a, this is now written as a product of linear factors, right? I can't really factor this any, you could factor this to x times x, right? But that's not going to like help you out. Um, but could we simplify this even further? Oh, that is important because that reminds me that has a multiplicity of two. This is what we call a repeated factor, right? So therefore, my zero is going to be repeated. But you can't repeat an x-intercept, right? You just change the behavior. And that's why we call it the multiplicity. So I'm going to have x is equal to zero with a multiplicity of two because that's the power of that zero and x is equal to negative 1 half with a multiplicity of equal to 2. So again, I'm applying the zero product property. I'm just not showing my work. Set each factor equal to 0 and solve. You would get 0 and negative 1 half. And then the 2, the multiplicity, comes from the power of each uh, factor. Actually, no, I'll just leave it like that. That's fine. Is everybody OK with that? Would yeah? Basically, x squared equals 0. Square root, square root, x equals 0. 2x plus 1, squared equals 0. Square root, square root, 2x plus 1 equals 0. Okay. Right? So I just didn't show my work just to. Sorry about that.